Bonjour à tous. Good morning, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, uh, President, dear friends, welcome to the French Federation of Insurance for this 10th International uh, Conference, which we decided this year to dedicate to a fascinating topic, pushing back insurability. Insurers, can they do more and better to provide s safety, security, stability to the world, which is uncertain and uh, concerned? Can they take it further than what they've been doing so far? These are the questions we will attempt to tackle throughout the day and provide responses for whilst we're facing challenges which are considerable. Uh, which are not uh, respecting uh, uh, frontiers, uh, climate, deregulation, financial problems, digital transformation, and also the risks such as cyber risk, not to mention terrorist attacks. Insurance is so much part of our daily lives that it's constantly uh, uh, hence and to provide protection against emerging uh, badly treated risk. Insurance embodies uh, social and economic uh, progress. There's still a lot of progress to make because new challenges uh, are facing us. First of all, the demographic one, the aging of the population, for example, with the risk of uh, long-term care, which will be one of the major uh, reforms that will be discussed next year. And uh, insurers uh, want to be part of such a reform as an active partner in order to propose solutions for, uh, in terms of national solidarity, demographic risks and climatic risk. We will talk widely about this this afternoon. And also, there are some other risks related to connected objects and autonomous vehicles. It will be one of the major uh, topics for this uh, morning. And also, of course, the uh, criminal risks through terrorist attacks, but cyber attacks. Also, I hailed the uh, presence this morning of uh, Commissioner King, who is in charge of uh, security within the Union and knows extremely well these uh, topics. So in a nutshell, our, uh, our raw material is a risk, a risk that we need to know, uh, define on its intensity and prevent it if possible, always, and also price it. And besides, when we talk about digital uh, revolution, new innovations, new risks are uh, included in this. So when we look at the situation now, there are several uh, cases. In, uh, first of all, there are risks that where we have historical knowledge or not, and also want to find out whether we have data and statistics that help us to grasp them, assess them, and anticipate them. When there's no uh, history about such risks, which is the case, by the way, of cyber risks, uh, which we are f uh, facing, which is a totally new situation, we can feel that through its intensity, it may well be a considerable risk if it is a massive attack against our corporations, such as uh, uh, viruses. So typically, what kind of method should we adopt in order to uh, respond uh, to this kind of new risks without any uh, memory or history? First of all, the law having a legal uh, framework setting rules is the basis of any efficient uh, response and by the way we could notice that we are running behind uh, here in Europe versus the US because the US had started putting in place a regulation on this today Europe uh, is, is I believe uh, lagging behind but we have some new elements that will help us catch up uh, commercially on this but also disseminate new rules there are some international debates taking place now around this uh, uh, these solutions and I'm eager to say that the French insurance is uh, focusing on this I chair a working group of all the stakeholders the club des juristes the Association of Risk Managers with the chair lady here with us today, and we also work with the various stakeholders on a document which will come in three sections. The first one is dedicated to the cyber risks, uh, and it's insurance is part of the documents that will be made available to you before you leave uh, uh, during the day. And I just uh, spur you to read them. They are available in French and English also on our website. So there's the law and also prevention, uh, which ought to develop in regard to corporations with uh, tools for diagnosis in order to quickly assess the level of protection and put in place uh, good practices. And the Federation is working again in on developing brochures, leaflets, and in order to help 
companies to better uh, prevent themselves against such risks. So prevention, uh, the law, and also better knowledge of risk are paramount. This is what we attempt to do with the National Security uh, Agency related to uh, uh, security, who's reporting to the minister. Every expert is trying to understand as much as possible the ins and outs, uh, the scope of the risk, and uh, what is expected from this. So the whole link and the chain and the insurers and reinsurers, at the end of it, can ca calibrate the guarantees based on the knowledge they could get about the risk to this uh, comprehensive and patient and methodological method uh, element. And there are other examples that exist as well which are about known risk, but where there's very uh, little models or statistics whereby we could foresee uh, or assess uh, the risk in the future. For example, weather-related risks, what happens if temperatures were to rise by more two or three degrees, what could be assurable. The, uh, the past does not help us in this regard. It's not enough to understand how uh, the future is shaping up. We could mention what experts call chaotic risks, such as uh, attacks and nuclear risk uh, and uh, bacteriological risk. The models are difficult to put in place in this regard. Nevertheless, insurers have pushed back the limit uh, insurabilities, especially in terms of terrorism, which we've put in place in France, for example, solutions between the insurer and reinsurer and the state, which have helped especially uh, to face uh, terrorist risks. Let me take another example regarding nuclear facilities, uh, CEO. This is an interesting topic being taught to ensure nuclear plants. You combine the compulsory insure, uh, insurance of uh, nuclear op operations with the 1956 convention, which uh, is based on this, and the pool of uh, insurers and reinsurers, and the international solidarity. In fact, what is unique here and not very well known is that these pools are supporting each other. For example, the Japanese pools and French pools are supporting uh, one another in terms of nuclear risk. This is definitely something uh, that is uh, full of inspiration, uh, the mutualization of risks, in other words, regarding such types of risks. And there are new technologies, for example, something, uh, the uh, f farming agricultural risks, for example, thanks to drones and to uh, satellite images will help uh, to better understand risk and better measure uh, um, claims ratio. And so for a farmer, uh, how much should be compensated when he doesn't have enough uh, food for its uh, animals? So with these uh, satellite techniques and drones, we are able to determine the loss uh, of, uh, uh, in regard to, the, the, to this food and based on parameters, uh, when it goes, uh, the threshold goes down, it triggers insurance. So there are innovations that are taking place that help push back insurability. Uh, we could also take as an example, well, by the way, these are technical solutions, but there are also other uh, solutions which were put in place. There are two examples in France about this, a, an agreement w which is dear to our heart, which is the ARAS uh, Convention in France, for example. Uh, there's uh, the right to be uh, forgotten. There's a very innovative uh, convention what was established between insurers, reinsurers, and uh, authorities and uh, uh, associations for uh, sick people, for those who have suffered from serious diseases and who uh, were healed to be able to benefit again from loans and credit and insurance under conditions that do not uh, impose upon them extra uh, premiums or having to go back uh, to speak again about what happened to gain and have some kind of double penalty in having to undergo again uh, or having to warrant the fact of uh, what happened in their existence. So this is something which is in considerable progress and was pa made possible because it was a convention agreement. There was a regulatory text that took a place that w it is a convention, therefore, and constantly we've been putting in place a mechanism so that we constantly uh, progress this thing as we see more progress taking place in terms of statistics and others and relying on them uh, we were able to implement this so we're improving further and constantly such a, an agreement and there's another example which we'll be uh, calling up widely this afternoon this is the case of NatCats uh, the prefect uh, Gustin 
who has the responsibility for operations in St. Martin, and he'll talk about the insurers and reinsurers about that case, about the feedback he got from that island that was hit uh, by the storm, and we were uh, talking recently, uh, obviously, this uh, NATCAT risk uh, could hit uh, us and also overseas with dramatic uh, differences. We have a mechanism that we put in place, which is a CATNAT uh, mechanism or system. It is of high performance, but could be further uh, perfected. Public authorities announced that it would be modernized by next summer, and we worked very hard with reinsurers and insurers in order to improve that system and make it even more effective and more resilient, and take into account, in a way, of these situations which are quite unique because there are more uh, explosions than others. And if we don't mutualize things, we may well have a risk, uh, which is if whether certain territories could be insured or not. So one, pushing back insur in the limits of insurability is a way of offering every French citizen the protection of insurance and the good conditions. So we can see here that there are some topics here which are uh, extraordinary open and significant, I would say. We may also try to understand if we couldn't take it further with talking about the nuclear pool. Couldn't there be solutions to be found that could unify further uh, Europeans on this? Uh, Nat cats, the epidemics, the cyber attacks, as I said before, do not respect uh, borders. And certainly, there's some progress to be made. It's complicated, but we could make progress in terms of solidarity and pr mutual support within the Union in order to face, uh, in a supportive way, this kind of risk. Now, science. At the FFA, we believe in economic social progress, but at the same time, we insist or we trust science, definitely, and the available data. Uh, thanks to the digital revolution, in an atmosphere where fake news are mushrooming, I think it's very important to rely on scientific rationality. And generally speaking, and this is why uh, the debates during this day uh, uh, are extremely interesting uh, for us, our debates will be broadcast live on the on the web, and I think there are many people who are connected because these are societal issues that we experience in societies that have a hard time in managing risks and that see new risks coming. They're worried about them. We can feel that all of this is uh, uh, felt by all the various populations. This has consequences on the difficulties that we face, for example, in Europe. I think the insurance has a considerable role to play to re reassure society and strengthen its resilience, it's true also of all these protective uh, elements of people and goods. It's true also that through and with the help of the uh, role of, as a long-term financier, I insist on the long-termness of the economy. It's another factor uh, of uh, resilience and security and risk for society. So I think we are at the heart really of uh, the debate today. And I believe that we will learn many things and uh, wish ourselves the best conference. Thank you very much for your attention. I'd like to welcome now uh, Commissioner Julian uh, King before giving him the floor. He is uh, the most French I mean, of all commissioners, not only because he was ambassador, well, not for a long time in France, although he speaks French extremely well. So part of his speech will be in uh, French. Nobody's perfect. He's been uh, to the ENA, the, uh, uh, the higher education school. He knows extremely well our country, but all uh, the way it uh, operates, its functions. He is in a situation of a British commissioner, so I do not know if what I should wish him is to uh, be find him again next year, I yield to him. Uh, the floor is yours, Mr. Commissioner.